What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a slacking team alongside with its best friend, Neutralizing Gas Weezing. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But as you guys already know, slacking is a top tier Pokemon stat wise. Its stats are amazing. Everything about it is so good, except for its ability Truon, which makes the Pokemon drowse off every other turn. So it's only attacking every other turn with a crazy attack stat. But since the Teal Mask DLC did release, it brought back Galarian Weezing, giving him Neutralizing Gas, which is an ability that cancels all other abilities out on the field. So pairing up Weezing with Slacking makes Slacking forget its ability basically and just go off from there and be able to actually hit every single turn. So it's a really cool combo, super excited to showcase that off and uh, bring you guys a Slacking video. But Tornadus is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And Tornadus, a great support Pokemon all around. Prankster, Cobra Cloak, can't go wrong with that right there. And then we got Tailwind, Taunt, Bleakwind Storm, and Sunny Day for Weather Control. And our second slot is going to be Toad Scroll. And Toad Scroll is another Pokemon just like Slacking that pairs up perfectly with Weezing's Neutralizing Gas. It has Mycelium Might which is an ability that makes status moves go last, but paired up with Weezing, you can actually get rid of that ability and have a very fast Spore user. So Toad Scroll's really solid with Weezing. Toad Scroll also has Leftovers as item and then a great move set of Giga Drain, Earth Power, Spore, and Protect. In the third slot, we got the Weezing with the Neutralizing Gas like we already mentioned and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Will-O-Wisp, Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Bomb, and Protect. Fourth slot is going to be that slacking with the assault vest and then that ability that we don't even like. We got body slam, drain punch, heavy slam, and play rough with the fairy terror type to make play rough do a crazy amount of damage. In our fifth slot, we got the one and only fire ogre pond with the mold breaker ability, then the normal move set of ivy cudgel, wood hammer, stomping cantrip, and spiky shield. Final slot is Fluttermane. Haven't seen this Pokemon too much in Regulation 8. Well, I am actually seeing it a good bit, just not as much as I did in the last season. So, still a great Pokemon. This one's got Protosynthesis and the Life Orb with Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Protect. Guys, you want to write this team for yourself? Right the code is at top right hand corner, but let's hop onto that Regulation E ladder and look to showcase Slacking and Galarian Weezy. Hopping into our first match, and I forgot to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Nico. Thank you so much for making this team. Nico Gaming is another YouTube channel that does Pokemon content. So if you guys want this Poke base or want to go check out his channel, make sure you head down in the link in the description below because I will have that link down there. But uh, we're going up against a pretty meta team right here in match number one. They got Tornadus, they got Fluttermane alongside for Vigoraph, Landorus, Ogre Pond, and Rillaboom. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I could go slacking here turn one, which is not too shabby. A nice, lovely slacking here with 120 speed, and look at that attack set. Oh my lord, 233 with 257 HP? This thing is a menace. It is a menace, but I could go wheezing, I could go slacking, I could also bring Toad Scroll if I want to, because that's a nice little fast sword Pokemon. But I think from here, we just want to set up a Tailwind. We really want to get after it that way, and probably bring wheezing and slacking as a back-end Pokemon. And I like that a lot. I definitely do like that a lot. So I'm going to go Ogre Pond here. I think I'm going to go Tornadus and Ogre Pond. I think we can really get off a lot of value that way. And go from there. Or I can go in with Fluttermane, which I like a little bit better in case you lead the Rillaboom. Or if they try to go for Intimidate. So you know what? We're going to go Fluttermane. We're going to go Weezing. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, super excited to be using Slacking. This thing hits like a truck. It's so hard. 233 attacks that. That is just absurd. But again... Like I said, its stats normally super, super high because of the fact its ability is so bad. So it kind of balances itself out. But now they go Lando here, and good thing I did actually swap him for the Flutter Man. Because Intimidate, going to do nothing up against special attackers, and fake out user will wounds on the field for them. Which really can't do anything up against us. We got Covert Cloak, and we're Ghost type. So I like this all around. So easy enough, we're just going to set up a beautiful little Tailwind. And do I just protect you? Or I could just Terrastalize you. No, we're just going to get after this and probably just throw a Moonblast into... Probably into, uh, Landorus here. Makes a bit more sense. But I'm hoping he's faking me out. You could go for a Rock Slide as well. It doesn't really matter to me. But I'm going to get off this tail and try to get a little bit of speed going. But I could see... I could see Rillaboom just dropping Grassy Guys and looking to get off some big-time damage onto my Fluttermane. I wonder what they're going to do here. I am scared. They could protect Robo, maybe drop an EQ, but 
Probably not. I think they're just going to go rock slide easily with the landers. And it could be Choice Scarf. So Fake Out comes out here. We got that Cobra Cloak. They're wasting a the turn. We get off a beautiful tail. And now we are just going to Moonblast down onto the uh, lander slot. And how much damage are we doing? At least half, right? Beautiful. That's a, that's a huge chunk of damage. That is a huge chunk of damage. Stop the Cancer is going to come out here. And that is going to do a decent chunk. But on from here, I can just drop a Bleak Wind Storm, which is 100% my play. And then just go into a Protector. Because we already know Grassy Glide is coming into the Flutter Main slot. We might as well dodge it, right? We might as well dodge it and then just drop the Bleak Wind Storm. So we're kind of hoping they start taking out my Pokemon because I would love to get out slacking right about now. But they're just going to end up withdrawing the landers, which is totally fine. I mean, it's okay, I guess, considering we do have a physical attacker in the back end. And now he has Intimidate in the back end. So he brings out landers to actually, or not landers, uh, Tornadus, to actually compete with our speed. And from here, we read the Grassy Guide with the Protect, and we shall go from there. Am I hard swapping the Weezing? I might hard swap in the Weezing. Bleak Windstorm goes, and who's dodging? Cool. I want to hit Roll Boom. So it does hit Roll Boom, and we're going from there. So we get the speed drop, and I could do a hard swap Flutter Main here. Maybe into Weezing. And then I can taunt you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, we'll just taunt you right here, and I'll just let this Pokemon die out. Yeah, it's fine by me. We'll go Moonblast into the Moon slot, but we're just going to taunt instead of swapping here. The taunt comes out here. We already know we have speed. We should be like, hey, you're not allowed to pop a Tailwind. It's not allowed. It's not happening. And they go for the Tailwind. So cool. Grass Guy finally comes out again, and that just takes out the Fluttermane. So from here, who do I bring out? Do I bring out Weezing? Or do I bring out Slacking? I think Slacking is the call here. We're just going to go into Slacking. The slacking comes in here with a beautiful typing of normal. We like that a lot. And from here, I should have a turn left in Tailwind. Yeah, I do. And from here, we can actually just attack right off the rip. We can just go Bleak Wind Storm and Body Slam here. Who do I take out is the real question. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to go into here, and then we can swap into Weezing, because Truant won't start until next turn, so we might as well use a turn without swapping into Weezing, and then go from there. But there we go, Bleak Wind Storm comes out here, that's some big time damage, Slacking should outspeed, which it does, Body Slam coming in hot here, and it's getting rid of Tornadus. Maybe I should have got rid of Roboom, probably would have worked a little bit better here. And, yeah, because Woodhammer's coming out here, Woodhammer's doing a chunk. That's a big chunk of damage, and he dies to recoil, we like that a lot. We like that a lot. So I can't really do anything right now with slacking unless I swap in the Weezing. I can't protect. I can't do any of that. I'm thinking of maybe just attacking or maybe just setting up Tailwind. But I think we're fine here. I think we're fine by just going into Weezing here, right? Correct. Ooh, Ogre Pond comes out here. We might set up a Tailwind. We might just have to set up a Tailwind because Wall Breaker comes out here. I wish I had Tailwind for one more turn. It would be so big. Hmm. Definitely going to Tailwind you. And you know what? I'm just going to swap into Weezing here. I'm just going to swap into Weezing. And actually, swapping into Weezing takes away a Prankster, which kind of sucks, right? It kind of does suck. But I think we should still outspeed to be able to pop a Tailwind. That could be tough if I blow this one. We have, we have a tough matchup here. I wish we had one more turn left in one. Maybe I should have went into the wheezing beforehand. Instead of slacking. But no, slacking did some big damage to Gato and Honest. So I'm going to hard swap to slacking. We have him low on HP. Maybe I should have just bleak and storm this turn. That would have been a better bet. I just hope for a speed drop that way. They have to rationalize him. That's going to be Ogre Pine. He's going to put the Teal Mask on. He's going to get ripping. He's going to get ripping. The chances are he's going after Weezing, right? And of course, Stomp Attention comes this way, and we take a big time damage. And he's going to take some damage to Rocky Helmet, which is massive. And we get off this tail. So speed is now ours. I'm really curious to see who he goes after. He's going to go for an Ivy Cudgel, and he's just going to take out 
cool. Okay, he's gonna end up taking out my tornado. Which I don't mind. I don't mind. So we got off the tailwind. Our wheezing stayed alive, and now we can go back into slacking. Now we can go right back into slacking. So everything works out perfectly. Everything works out perfectly. Cool. Now we got slacking back here. We have a lot of speed going on here. Uh, do I terrestrialize? Should just go for body slam here, right? Body slam and what's your speed at? Weezing, what's your speed at? 80. You should be faster. You should be faster. What's your tower type? The water. I want to slice in the water? Probably, right? You know what? Yeah, we gotta use our terror type. I mean, they do have a grass move. You know what? No, we're just not even gonna use Terra. We're just not even gonna use Terra. So I'm gonna Dazzle Gleam here. Spiky Shield ends up coming out here. Dazzle Gleam, I just need, I, Weezing, I just need you outspeed in that, that, uh, that Lando. We pretty much have this game. If Weezing outspeeds the Lando, we have this game. You should, you should be able to outspeed him. We got the talent up. You don't. But Slacking eats. But Slacking eats. But slacking eats. That is massive. That is massive. That is massive. So potentially that Lando could have been choice. But from here, I am just gonna rip a drain punch or do I rip a body slam? Body slam's gonna do more damage. So I'm just gonna go for a body slam here. And on top of this, I'm just gonna double down and go into a sludge bomb here. So there's no way this person goes for double spiky shield, right? I'd be very upset if they land a double spiky shield. That'd be very upsetting. But I feel like that's the only option our opponent has. So I think they are just going to go for a spiky shield here. This could be bad. This could be real bad. They do go for the double spiky shield, but they miss. But they miss. Thank the Lord, because I would have been so upset if we lost this battle off of a double spiky shield. But Body Slam comes out here, does some big time damage. Slush Bomb's going to pop here and finish off this match. What a first match. Slacking, absolutely ripping it up. Let's go hop into her second. Let's go back to back. What a hot start to today's video, dominating with slacking in match number one. But we're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against an older school kind of team, right? They got Skelly there, too. I still absolutely love. Haven't used it in a bit. And then Grimmsnarl for screens, probably. Rillaboom, Garchomp, Sylveon, and Gyarados. So just a cool set of Pokemon. A really cool set of Pokemon, but who should I leave? Who should I go into? Because I could go slacking. I could go Tornadus, but again, they have Intimidate and Fake Out just like the last battle. So I'm thinking just going Tornadus and Fluttermane. And then in the back end, probably just going maybe Weezing. Hmm. I mean, I could go Weezing. You know what? Let's do that. Let's just go Weezing. Let's go slacking here early on here. And then we'll just go Toad Cruel as, as a back end Pokemon with Ogre. I really do like that a lot. If they intimidate me, they intimidate me. I could care less. We'll kind of just maybe like make a hard swap. But if they do go on the real boom, we might just double protect and just block the fake out, right? Just start getting after the match that way. But so good to just cancel out. Oh, wait, I forgot. I, they can't intimidate me. I got wheezing on the field. It's just so good to just cancel out ability. So real boom comes out here alongside with guard shot. So no grass terrains allowed. They can still fake me out, which is a slight problem. Just a, just a tad bit of a problem. But I think from here, we're just going to translate you just so we don't take... Uh, big damage to ground shots, and we're just gonna dazzle gleam on this. And ch -ch -ch, do I dazzle gleam? The body slam. I could just go here, and I could go sludge bomb, and I think that's gonna be my play. I'm just gonna go sludge bomb, and I'm just gonna attack with you. I'm just gonna go play rough. Wait, 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 wait. You want to terrestrialize some music? So we'll get that nice, lovely water typing out here. And at this point, I should double down the robin, which I'm gonna do. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to go for play rough because I can always protect next turn. So we get the terrestrialization coming out here. I get that I'm terrestrializing into water and they're a grass type, but I want to dodge the ground move first and foremost if Garchomp is throwing a ground move. And then if the real move survives this turn, then I just protect and I take it out with slacking. So Fake Out's going to come in here. It's going to deal some damage slacking and it's fine by me. And this thing ends up sword dancing. That's, that's, a little, that's a little scary right there. That is terrifying, actually. Real terrifying. Sludge Bomb now flies. And it's doing just a little bit of damage. Do we get a poison? We do get a poison. Okay, I'll take a poison. Alright, so... Garchomp's scaring me, man. It's 
real scary. Real scary. But from here, I'm just gonna protect. And I'm just gonna go for a play rough into the Garchomp slot. Garchomp ends up protecting big time. And we'll see what he ends up doing with these. Or with Rillaboom. Maybe I should just body slam the roll, dude. I might hard swap wheezing here. Just for a U-turn. So we get the block here. Get a big block. So I'm thinking Garchomp is gonna probably terrestrialize here. It just makes the most sense. So by maybe hard swapping into like Toad Scroll, that could be a good play. Maybe putting him to sleep before anything. Hmm. You know, we're just gonna go, we're gonna stay with this, and he's U-turning. I'm just gonna throw a Gleam. No, I'm not. I'm gonna Sludge my that slot still. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna Gleam. <laughs> I'm gonna Gleam. So I'm just gonna Dazzle Gleam, and on top of that, we're gonna go for the play rough. We're gonna stay with this card chomp. I know it's plus two. Dragon Claw's gonna come out here, and we're able to soak really well. Player off now flies and it just almost takes out the guard chops. So good thing we did go for a dazzling gleam. We get the attack drop as well. The slacking and ripping, the wood hammer comes out. And, oh, that's rough. That's rough. I was really expecting the U-turn. Why wouldn't you U-turn again? Why would you try U-turn in the first turn and then not U-turn the next turn? Maybe you just read my protect. Smart play. The wood hammer comes out here. The neutralizing ga gas is gone. And the grass string comes out finally. So gonna take his recoil damage and he's gonna faint. Okay, so we get rid of Rillaboom, which is pretty big. Garchomp's still hanging around, which I kind of don't like. Not one bit. And I can't protect the slacking, which kind of sucks. So, hmm. Hmm. Let's just go Toad's Cruel and maybe put that thing to sleep and kind of go from there. Is Grimstone also gonna come out here? Potentially set up screen. I mean, slacking really not that good without anything. It's real tough, but I'm gonna put you to sleep. Actually, I'd rather just KO you at this point. I'd rather just go for a Giga Drain. And I'd rather slacking die and us save Ogre Pond. So yeah, I'm just gonna go into a, uh, a play rough here and go into Grim Snarl. Instead of Sporing doing anything like that, we're just gonna start attacking. It, makes, it just makes more sense. Like, why would I Sport? Oh, you get 50, how dare you? It's upsetting. And Dragon Claw's gonna fly, and you're gonna go after Toad Scroll. Toad Scroll's able to eat. We like that. We like that, because now we get off a. Oh no! I thought it would come out next turn. I thought our ability thing would come out next turn. That really hurts. Now that really hurts. I thought it would come out next turn. Can you just KO my slacking at this point? Can you just KO him? I wanna go for a Giga Drain here. And I think I'll double down to Garchomp, just in case he takes out my Toad Scroll. There's the Dragon Call. He does take out Toad Scroll, and Slacking is just gonna look to take out Garchomp here. Grimstone, what are you doing? I'm missing my play rough. Come on, man. I needed that one. I really didn't need that one. Spirit Break now flies out here. We're able to soak, but it's just tough news. It's real tough news. I needed that Garchomp dead. I wonder who their final Pokemon is. Because I love having Ogre Pond with the Grass Terrain and Wood Hammer. Oh, dude, that hurts. That hurts. I'm really curious to see who his final Pokemon is. I don't even think we are going to. Because Garchomp should be dead. I should have just went for Body Slam. Should have just played safe. But I feel like we could have thrived unless it was Skelly Dirge as their final Pokemon. We would have probably won this battle. I mean, I have Stomping Touch. We would have won this battle 100%. 1,000%. Hmm. So my play from here is just going to go into an Ivy Cudgel. It should KO. Actually, we'll go with Hammer and make sure we KO. And actually, we'll just protect you. We'll Spiky Shield you this turn. And then I'll loaf around here and go for a play rough. That is so annoying. That is so annoying that we missed a play rough. Reminds me of my Sword and Shield days. I used to miss play roughs left and right. Reflect comes out here, and that pretty much wraps it up. That's so annoying, because guard, uh, and guard time targets down my slacking. Yeah, that's game set. Match, man. Come on, man. 
Come on. We had a good shot at win this match if we take out the guard charm. A good shot. But now I'm just going to run it. Match number two goes to our opponent. Let's go hop to a third. Look for that winning record. Final match is on its way, but I want to go over something. I want to give a huge shout out to my members. If you guys do not know, I have memberships. They are now live. If you guys want to become a member, there's a link down in the description below. But Mr. Mime, my boy, thank you so much for becoming a Jeans Super member. I really appreciate it. And then I got some other members who are now three-month members. We got Gemini, Ivan, Jan, Raichel, and Brandon Stromberg. Yo, huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for becoming members to my channel. I really do appreciate it. It really does go a long way. Thanks to you guys so much for the support. But we're hopping into our third match. And ba -ba 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 -ba, they got Fluttermane. They got Ogre Pond. They got the Iron Hands. They got Intimidate on the, uh, the Lando. And then they got Shiyu and Shen Pao. So a pretty strong team here. I think I have to take speed control with Tornadas. They just have a lot of speed. So I am going to end up leading Tornadas. And I think I'm just going to go in with Fluttermane. Buttermane is a great lead. And then as back end Pokemon, I'm just going to go Ogre Pond and finally Toad Scroll? Or do I go Weezing? We're not going to break Slacking in this matchup. Weezing is not too bad. I mean, you got a good typing, so I'm going to go Weezing. You also have Burns and stuff like that, so I, I can really get down with that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three and grab ourselves a winning record. But yeah, again, huge shout out to all my members. If you guys want to become a member, there is a link down in the description below and just to support me a little bit extra you guys get some cool emotes you guys get priority when commenting all that cool stuff and you get a little sub badge which is pretty dope definitely dope so if you guys been wondering how do people do the, like the yoshi emote i have a lebron james emote a mordecai from regular show emote and i have another one it's a uh, pikachu emote. If you guys are wondering how people are commenting that it's because they are members to my channel so huge shout out to all the members always so intimidate comes out here and the iron hand so they can't fake me out and Intimidate's really doing nothing. So from here, I'm just going to... I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm here. I think Bleak Wind Storm's going to be important. And on top of that, I am just going to actually Terra Fairy. And go after Iron Hands. I want to just attack Iron Hands. That's going to be my play. So I'm going to attack Iron Hands. He might fake out. I'm kind of hoping he goes for a fake out and he wastes his turn. Instead of going for a wild charge into my Tornadoes. But my thought process here is Tornado should be alive this next turn unless they wild charge me. And we can just set up the Tailwind next turn. That's why I'm just attacking. But Lando ends up protecting. That's actually perfect. That is perfect. And we're going to be able to rip with a Moon Blast here. Stab, super effective Terra Blast. And we bring it on one. Can you land this Bleak Windstorm? I need you to land this Bleak Windstorm. I need you to land this Bleak Windstorm. Don't do me dirty, Tornado. Do not do me dirty. Need you to land this. Need you land this. Bro, what? I'm just losing matches to miss attacks. <laughs> now, that, that, that just hurts. That just hurts. Because you should be dead. He should be dead. He should be a goner. He should be a goner. Oh my lord, that hurts. My heart, my soul. I'm gonna bring out Weezing now. I'm bringing out Weezing. Oh my. Like, yo, come on with that. I should have a full HP Fluttermane. And we should be getting after it. But from here, I'm just gonna rip another Bleak Windstorm. I'm gonna hope that this one actually lands. And I'm gonna go for a Will O Wisp into the Lando Slot. I know we have Stomp and Catch him and all that. I'm pretty bull. But finally, that lands. Maybe we get a speed drop as well on the landers. And we get rid of Iron Hands. Wow, dude, we would have been sitting in such a good position. So we don't get the speed drop. Stomp and Catch him comes out here, which we should be able to eat. You do eat that. Beautiful. You're going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. And on top of that, we miss our Will O Wisp. I'm just wasting turns out here. I'm just wasting turns. I love wasting turns. Love wasting turns. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted to waste some turns. Shen Pao now comes out. So now we're going to Tailwind. We're going to get some speed. And I am going to look to just burn the... the what's it called? What do I gleam? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to gleam instead. I mean, you can Sucker Punch me. But we should be able to Sucker, sucker Punch. You're just outspeeding me. Because I don't have pranks anymore. But I soak. Beautiful. Tailwind now comes out here. Cool. You should be able to outspeed Weezing now. Thank you, Weezing. Weezing comes out here and still some nice damage to Shen Pao. Stompy Cancer comes out here and finishes me off. So now I get to bring out Ogre Pun. Take some Rocky Helmet damage and we go for that. Now I get to bring out the Ogres. 
Oh my lord, it just hurts. It really just hurts. The neutralizing gas is now gone. That prank should have a lot of stuff. Intimidate comes out here actually at the perfect time. And we'll go from there. Oh my lord, man. It's crazy. It's just crazy, right? It is crazy out here with the missile attacks. Now I bring out Ogre Pond. And from here. I can just Sunny Day. I'm thinking of Sunny Day, right? And the reason is because Shen Pao might Sucker Punch, but in that case, who could his final Pokemon be? Who could your final Pokemon be? Chi Yu? It could be Ogre Pond itself. Lander's kind of annoying me. Do you think a Sucker Punch coming out here? Hmm. So, do I Sunny Day? Yeah, I'm gonna Sunny Day and get rid of Shen Pao. And I'm gonna wood hammer to finish off Shunpal just in case he swaps. I know protects too. Show me you're going for sucker punch. Show me you are going for sucker punch. Let me get a sucker punch in this slot. Let me get a read. Oh my god, I'm good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Making big time reads, and now we have the sunny day set up for my Ogre Pond to do some damage. That's massive. That's a massive play for us. Two missed attacks, and we're still trying to make a comeback here. But if I had to guess, Water Ogre Pond would be final poop. Right? I had to guess. And this sunny day is awesome. And it is the water. Um, lovely. Who has water absorbed? Um, we have speed here, right? For how many more turns? Bleak Wind Storm's probably not gonna land here. That's that's my that's my only issue, right? That's my only issue. Is in the sun, it has a tough time landing. But I'm still going for it. I know I'm gonna miss attacks. I mm, sucks. And I'm just gonna go for a wood hammer here. Yeah, we're going for wood hammer. So he's gonna end up putting on the mask. Kinda dumb, right? It makes a wood hammer just KO you. Unless you're protecting, but I don't see you terrestrialize and protecting. So we're gonna go from here. Bleak Wind Storm, can you land, please and thank you? Bleak Wind Storm, come on now. I need you. More than ever. You already missed once, don't miss again. There we go. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's go. Let's go. So that should be game. That should be game. This wood hammer should have no problem finishing off this uh, Ogre Pond. That should be night night. 2 1 winning record. Awesome. So we struggled to land some attacks in today's video, but hey, we make a nice big time comeback in match number three. Reading the sucker punch, so we set up the Sunday day, and then we just won it from there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a video. Showcase slacking in today's video, ripped up with wheezing, and got a little bit of Toad's collection in. What more can you guys ask for? On top of that, a dice lovely winning record. I absolutely love this team right here. Huge shout out to Nico Gaming for actually making this team and making it a rental code. Again, if you guys want the Pokepace or anything like that, head down to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.